Hello and welcome to my course, The Confidence to Be a Poet. My name's Anna Kathenka. I'm a poet and a writing tutor, and I've taught a fair few writing courses by now. I've thought very hard about the differences between a face-to-face course and an online course, and while I think the outcome is roughly the same, there will be some differences. In a face-to-face course, you'd receive feedback on your work and benefit from discussions with other participants on the poem studied. For this reason, if at all possible, I would highly recommend taking this course with a friend or getting yourself involved in talking about poetry with other people, maybe through a writer's group or similar. If you don't yet have a community of poets to discuss work with, Twitter is an excellent starting point. If you don't already use it, I highly recommend starting off just by following some poets whose work you like, and also maybe some organisations such as Poetry London, the Poetry Society, and of course, the National Centre for Writing. This course is broken down into 10 modules, spread across five different themes, which I will go into in more detail during each module. The entire course is approximately 20 hours long, but you can take it at your own pace, and I encourage you to do so. All you will need is something on which to write. For some of you, that might be a Word document on your computer. For some of you, it will be paper and a pen or a pencil. This course also includes a lot of listening, both to myself and to podcasts and recordings of poets. So if you live with other people, I recommend getting yourself a pair of headphones and somewhere comfortable to sit, both for writing and for reading, listening and watching videos. Take regular breaks, pace yourself, and above all, have fun. I'm hoping that this course will give you the confidence and discipline to write poetry at home and the tools to read and discover your own favourite poems and poets. While community and peer support is important in any creative practice, the ability to work alone and even better, to be able to identify your own strengths and weaknesses is a skill that all creatives must master if they're to be any good at what they do. I've called this course The Confidence to Be a Poet, out of respect, mostly, for the poets who have taught me. The confidence to be a poet was what they gave me, and I hope that I can give that to you in turn. When I was taking a second year poetry writing module at university, the tutor Annabelle Banks began our very first seminar by asking us all if we considered ourselves poets. None of us did. She then asked us if we all wrote poetry, and all of us did. Well then, she said, you are all poets, and I want you to start thinking of yourself as poets too. I had never been given permission to be a poet before. I don't know what I thought I had to achieve to finally be considered a poet, publication maybe, or some sort of award. And who knew? It was as simple as being somebody who writes poetry. So now I can bestow that gift on you. You, my friends, are a poet. And I want you to start thinking of yourself as a poet too.